Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay with Building Bluebird and today I'm sharing how I painted our concrete basement floors using Rust-Oleum's Epoxy Shield Garage Floor Coating. So last year when the pandemic hit, we quickly realized that we needed more of a play area for our kids to run around and play with their toys. So we converted our unfinished basement into their new playroom and it worked out great. This year, I really wanted to create a more clean and finished space in our basement, and I got to work putting together a budget-friendly basement makeover. We created a utility room to hide the mechanicals, we added more lighting overhead, and painted the open ceiling joists, and then finally, I painted the concrete floors. I decided to paint the floors instead of going with carpeting because I wanted a durable and clean finish. With two kids and three dogs, I really wanted low-maintenance floors where I could easily pick up spills and any accidents. The floors turned out great and I can't wait to share the entire process with you. Let's get started. Step one, measure the room. Measure the size of the space to determine the amount of kits to purchase. Choose a tint color from the side of the box and have the paint department tint each kit before you leave. I purchased mine at Home Depot and chose New Concrete as my color. It is a light neutral color that complements our furniture nicely. Each kit includes one base gallon, one quart of the activator, a mixing stick, a bag of concrete etch, and decorative chips. Step two, thoroughly clean the floors. Vacuum any loose dust and dirt on the floor, then scrub with Rust-Oleum's cleaner and degreaser solution. Rinse the floors with clean water and remove the dirty water using a wet vac. Step three, etch the concrete floors. Mix one bag of concrete etch per two gallons of water until it is dissolved. Pre-wet the floors and then evenly distribute the solution using a watering can. Vigorously scrub the floors with a bristle brush to loosen dust and dirt. Once you have finished scrubbing, use a squeegee to pull the solution into a pool and remove the dirty water using a wet vac. Step four, rinse the floor. Clean the floor with water one more time to remove any remaining etch solution and vacuum the dirty water. Once the floor is dry, rub your fingers over the ground. If dust and powder comes off, repeat scrubbing and rinse until the floor is clean. Allow the floor 24 hours to dry completely. Step five, mix the activator and base together. For this basement project, I also mixed in an anti-skid additive that prevents slipping if liquids are spilled on the floor. I used a paddle attachment to evenly mix part A and part B together. Once the paint is mixed, it has been activated and should be painted within a set time frame indicated on the instructions. Step six, apply the floor coating. Choose the furthest corner of the room and work your way towards the exit. Working in four by four sections, use a synthetic paintbrush to trim the edge of the room. Use a 3 8 inch nap and nine inch roller to apply the floor coating in the four x four section. Continue brushing the edges and rolling the paint until you complete the room. This product only requires one coat of paint. However, you may be able to see dark blemishes with the lighter tinted colors. I applied a second coat of paint to a few sections of the room to fully cover these dark blemishes. I allowed the floor to dry for 24 hours and then put the basement back together. The kids love their new play area where they can watch movies, climb their hanging rope, and read books. My favorite part of the basement makeover is the designated workout area that gets used daily. Now our basement feels clean, bright, and offers so much more function for our family.